Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back at it again today. And I wanted to talk briefly about LeBron James. And this has nothing to do with activism or any of his stances, anything, or the NBA Finals that he's in right now. It's the fact that LeBron James is a subject brought up because we have this as a prime example of why black people can't move beyond. And why am I saying this about LeBron James? It's because I'm tired of hearing him being compared to Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, okay? I mean, I know now I understand what the late Kobe Bryant went through when it came to Michael Jordan. I understood that, but then again, he was he was blow for blow idolizing the guy, but no disrespect to Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is one of the greatest to ever do it. Rest in peace. My thing is, is that when did Michael Jordan become the gold standard, like only? Why can't anybody else be great in their own way? And this is the problem. This is why we can't grow as people. Yes. This is why we can't grow as people. Because y'all set a benchmark for everything. Y'all set that limitation. White folks ain't got to do that. They ain't got to do it. You do it. Because your nostalgia blinds you. Okay? Your nostalgia blinds you. Why can't anybody else be great in their own way? No, well, he he ain't as great as that. He's still great. What about a whole army of great black people? Okay? Just great in their own way. Stop measuring us off of each other. This is exactly why we can't grow. I'm so sick of hearing about LeBron James not winning these rings. How many times he's been to the playoffs and how many times he didn't win. Okay? Okay? I'm tired of hearing about that. And I'm not even LeBron James' biggest fan on the court. He's a good player. He's great. He's one of the greatest also. But this ain't a video about critiquing his basketball game. It's the fact that his name brings awareness to a situation that has been a problem with black American people for years. You just don't know how to let people be great shoulder to shoulder you just don't you just cry all the time and you want to find ways to have it that your childhood and your nostalgia stays intact okay i'm tired of hearing about that i'm I'm really sick i'm sick of it and who are his biggest critics who are his biggest critics when it comes to the sports media black commentators You got people like um, Colin Hurd who speak highly about him. Why is it only that the white folks speak highly about LeBron James? Like, that makes no sense to me at all. It, like, make it make sense. For the most part, they are not critical about LeBron James like black people are. And that is a long-term problem that's been going on with black people. You know, I'm to the point now... I don't even care. If a brother want to date out, he can date out. He can. I mean, we let these black women run their mouth about who they want to date and how they call it leveling up, which is a disrespect, a slap in the face to black men in America. We let that happen, right? And then a lot of y'all be ready to take them when they want to come back home. Idiots. Anyway, I'm to the point where I don't care. Let, let, let a brother do what he want to do. Because it's going to always be black people there to run their mouth and criticize him even when he's trying to do the right thing. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Like, I had to listen to fucking O'Shea Duke Jackson. Um, not have to. I listened to him talking about Reggie Bush. And how black people aren't allowed to speak about black issues if they're not married to a black person. Yeah, I, I get that. I get it. My thing is, why is this in the goddamn news? Why are you making a big deal about it? You're going to sit there and you're going to talk about that man's history, him being raised in San Diego, and there's and it's not a lot of black people there, and then you wonder why he the way he is and stuff. Oh, man. Anyway, back on subject here. The whole thing is, is that 
it, it's this whole mindset that black folks can't be great. They have to follow a specific demographic, specific actions to be great. You just got to be better than Michael Joy. Okay. <laughs> it, it's just, it's just stupid. It's stupid. And you know what's funny? Michael Jordan is one of the biggest coons out there. Yeah, I said it. I said it, and I stand by it. I've only had one pair of his things. I refuse. I refuse to deal with this guy. But, oh, it's what he did on the basketball court that matters. Fuck you. Fuck you. Seriously. You always talking about what black people need to do. And you got one man who's both great on the basketball court and he's a philanthropist. And all you want to do is say he's not as good as Jordan. He doesn't he didn't win as many championships as Jordan and Kobe. This is the problem now. You motherfuckers are sitting there on your goddamn couch or you sitting there on your phones criticizing the fucking man. Because he ain't do it like your childhood hero do it. But he doing something your fucking hating ass is not doing and this is not me defending him on basketball court this is just me pointing out the fact that this is a ugly trend that's been a problem with black people for years we critical and we are aggressive towards our own people and it's coming from people who ain't in no better situation than the person that they're criticizing you know I'm tired of hearing about black men getting dick policed we get dick policed by black women, and now we get policed, or we get it now. We getting it by black men too. We getting dick policed by other black men too. The whole thing's just full of shit. It's just I'm tired. I'm so tired of it, y'all. But anyway, let me end this one right here. Cause I'm a fury. I am out. Peace.